What's up YouTube, this is your boy Shining Fire, and today we got ourselves a Yu-Gi-Oh! Monster Box. I don't know what it is guys, I found it at Walmart and I figured, well that's interesting and new, so why not pick it up, see what's inside, and see if it's worth the actual money. Because this was literally like 25 bucks I believe guys. For 10 booster packs plus one legacy pack. Yeah, and that's something that um, I'd really spend on cards nowadays. Especially for booster packs. Though they are trying to really push the limit for money nowadays. For anything. Certain places more than others. Uh, for the most part, guys, this is actually a very good, good uh, place to start. And I figured it looks nice. I like the box. I like the framing. I like the, the fact that it's all random. You don't know what you're going to get. And the fact that he had the original Yugi on there. I mean, seriously, Konami has so many other characters, but everybody can relate to Yami Yugi, to the actual original Yu-Gi-Oh! series. And the fact that they put that put him on the box, not Jaden, not Yusei, not Yuma, no, they went with the OG character. That's what makes this an actual likable buy. Oh, and if you hadn't noticed, guys, take a look at our new playmat. Yes, it's Bleach, and I like it, because look at that face. You got Ukiora, and you got Hollow Ichigo. I mean, seriously, that looks so awesome. But anyways, guys, now that we got that out of the way, freaking, <laughs> you got an eye here, and you got a demon eye here, Mon <laughs> and a monstrous demon eye over here from Ukiyora. <laughs> but anyways, guys, sorry, I'm geeking out, because I just got this, and it still looks so cool. Uh, if you guys haven't known, I'm an anime nut. Hopefully they don't cancel the, anim the Megacon, because I'm looking forward to go, hoping, and I'm also looking forward to streaming my videos for you guys, and... I want to hear your opinions and feedback on whether or not things are going to go okay, things are going to go well. I haven't been to a Megacon just for the fun of it, guys. I'm always there for, like, tournaments or whatever, and right now tournaments are postponed. The the finals are postponed. They're li the, Well, not postponed. They're all canceled. I mean, seriously, nothing, nobody, not a zip. Nothing is going on. But I have been dueling online, guys. I've been dueling with a couple of my friends. We've been, like, uh, Skyping, Skype chatting online with some of my, uh, well, I want to say tournament buddies because, you know, it's good to have practice. But when you're dueling on a face cam and then the face cam just goes dark, yeah, not really exactly the best kind of way to... Um, go out with a bang and play because you don't know what's on the field. They keep telling you what's on the field. They tell you the traps. But it's hard to believe them when your screen is blank and all you're seeing is an image that from their Skype page. Or a video camera that they're... Or a uh, uh, one of the cameras that they're using to, you know, record and everything and send out to one another and all of a sudden the screen screen is either black or they see the picture or whatever. Yeah, so it's hard to play honestly. <laughs> but we do mess around with each other every once in a while, but I still manage to have fun with these guys. I mean we've played together from championships, tournaments, qualifying tournaments all around. But this is the first time I've ever gone to uh, the Megacon without enjoying a crispy, enjoying, peaceful period. You know, going to any kind of con without, you know, a tournament involved. So hopefully they don't cancel it. I get to enjoy a nice vacation from my work. Because if you guys have not already known, I, I do work at Walmart and I, and I do enjoy my the work I do there it just kind of be kind of a grueling uh, way to do things I'll say that because that's literally how I feel about it it's a grind but it's my kind of grind don't know if that makes sense anyways guys let's go ahead and get into this I'm bl I'm blaming on because I was thinking about 
enjoying a nice peaceful vacation for once because I don't normally take a vacation. Let's pour some of these packs out, see what we can... I like the fact that they try to put them and keep them, think they're going to keep them safe behind plastic and freaking cards. But let's see what we got for packs here. We got Dimensions of Chaos. That's an old oldie. Dark Severs. That's the zombie pack that everybody loves so much. Breakers of Shadow. What is this one? We got Shining Victory. The Secret Forces. Uh, Duelist Alliance. Another Breaker of Shadows. Oh, there's our Legacy Pack. Invasion of Chaos. We got a Dark Severe again. And then our last pack is Flames of Destruction. So let's go ahead and open up the two packs that have like multiple cards in them. Like, like double, the, dual, the double packs. Since those have five cards in them, that has nine. Let's go with the nine pack. So we're literally just going to start putting all these to the side here. In any order I choose to go in. Let's see the legacy pack for last. Or how about instead we do the legacy pack first after we do our double opening. And then we'll go on. Because I want to end off with some of the good cards. First. There we go. That's how we're going to do things. Yeah. Set these off to the side so we can have places for our for our little rares, our commons, and our hollows, and all that. So here we go. We got super heavy samurai magnet, uh, engraver of the mark. Wizard Buster Destruction Sword. Buster Blayer support there. Destruction Swordsman Fusion. Another another Buster Blader card. And then here was here we go. We got a hollow. Interrupted Kaiju Slumber. Okay, so this is a kaiju card for the kaiju deck. No. Yes, it's uh, Kaiju's are banned, guys, if you hadn't already noticed. And then for a rare, we got Goyo Defender. Wow. Hey, we can build a Goyo deck. High speed re level. Alright, so that's for the speed droids. Uh, Dino Mist Ceratops. And then finally, we have Super Heavy Samurai Prep Defense. So, not a bad opening, guys. Now we go for our second. Dark Severs. We're going to go for our first Dark Severs, I should say. Because there's two of them. So far, I'm liking the opening, guys. It's not too bad of a card selection. Even though we've only opened one pack. Alright, so these are all Hollows. And one Ultra Rare. Vampiric Orchard. Uh, Vampire Awakening. All these cards have to do with Vampires, guys. I love Vampires, but... Uh, don't ask me why I say this, but I love vampires, but I don't want to try to use the deck for finals or tournament-wise, even though everybody says, why not? Vampires are the bad, baddest kinds of cards. But even my, even some of the tournament guys say, why not? You, you always use your Red Dragon Archfiend. And I go, well, yeah, because that's a combo deck, not a, uh, Oh, let me see if I can just drain your life points away while gaining life points as well. It's, I feel like it's Magic the Gathering. Uh, Dumpa Marksman for higher... Oh, for higher cards. Now, that is something I love to build. They build off of one another. Oh, and there we go. Sky Striker Mecha. Eagle Booster. See, these are the kind of cards that I like to use, guys. The build-off cards. And then, of course, it had to, do, it had to be the Vampire Domination card for our Ultra Rare. I know this set is for vampires, guys. I, I understand that, but come on. I do love vampire decks, guys. I just don't want to use them for finals because it feels like I'm just trying to be a real pain in the ass. And 
I don't care to be that kind of guy, you know, in the finals. You're just like, here, let me see if I can just screw you over as much as I can and then and then see what you feel about it. I'm like, no. <laughs> Sorry for ranting, guys. I just, I get, I get certain irritations in my life that predict me to do the prediction. All right, so this kangaroo. This is for the legacy pack, guys. Inferno. Man, some of these cards. Are, oh man, I'm getting nostalgic. Pinch hopper. <laughs> Blasting the ruins. Well, blast something. Might as well be at old ruins. Nobody ever cares about the historical sites anymore, anyways. Robin Zombie, for our, oop, I put down the note, for a rare. Thunder Crash, means when I get in a hollow in this pack. Ooh. Fiend's Hand Mirror, sorry guys, I, oh. Wow, Sacred Crane. Uh, everybody liked having Sacred Crane in their deck because they need to draw a card. They were always banking on their decks, and I still do that for some of my decks because I want to bank off of some of the cards I need. Molten Zombie, what am I talking about? People still bank on their decks all the time because they're hoping to draw their cards. Oh, I'm losing my mind, guys. It's I'm losing my mind because, yes, I play, yes I'm play. playing games and all that now just for gaming, my game channel, but I'm trying to do this channel as well. It hasn't been going well because I've been trying to edit, me and my uh, cameraman Chris, we, we've been trying to edit and edit and edit like crazy, bro. But since there's only the two of us, it kind of makes things difficult. And I go, and I hear, and I can already he feel the comments down. Well, you should get a third person. Well, you should get a third. You should get more people. And all that. Yeah, but it's hard. That's not the problem, guys. It's staying six feet apart. You know, freaking. Every time I come up to Chris's house, he's he literally has like a little his little ruler. He comes out to the car, sticks the ruler, and says, "Okay." Give me, hand me the editorials that we had for the video and stick them on the stick. And I'm like, how about I just stick the whole camera on your ruler and see if you can drag it out the window. Yes, I, I, I see you looking at me like, I see you, Chris. I know. We're six feet apart. You're holding a camera. Hold, you're, 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 using a ca you're using a camera from six feet away from six foot. Guys, yeah, he literally is not holding the camera. I'm holding the camera. He's staying over there on the computer watching watching the live uh, camera screen online because we connected the camera to the computer through a wire, and it's six feet apart. And I think it's funny as hell. Uh, he's just looking at me like, well, I want to stay safe. And I go, from what? You got the, you're more healthier than, than most people in the state of Florida. Most people here are older. It's where they go to freaking enjoy themselves when you're when you're older. And I'm like, well, then why am I living here? I don't like being in the hottest place on earth. Sorry guys, back to the video. Sorry guys, I'm losing my mind here, freaking being caged like a wild animal. Or griffier. Yes, I know people are saying, oh, you're working at Walmart. Yeah, you could do. You you're going outside. Guys, I'm only there for so long, and it's and you have people with masks on looking at you like, like you're uh, have like you have like the most contagious disease on earth, and it's gonna kill you. Or they're seri or you're a serial killer because you're wearing gloves, you got a mask on your face, and you're looking like freaking like you like you came out of something that of a horror film, I should say. I'm again tonight. Plague Spreader Zombie. This one I don't mind. I like Plague Spreader Zombie for the tuner monster because a lot of tuners involve him for their quick plays. Speaking of quick plays, Quick Booster. Yeah, it looks more like one of the Chronomaly cards. But whatever. And then our last card. Wow. Dumb Peter, Vampire, Shit Down. Or Ultra. It had to be a vampire to end it off with. It always has to be a vampire. Yes, I know the the whole card series for that for the vampire series is vampires, but come on. There are other ultra rares in that set. 
But I don't mind, I guess. I, I really don't mind. Shadows of Destruction. Super Heavy Samurai General Jade. Uh, Performance Hurricane. Dino Miss Brachion. Dragon's Bide. Ooh, and there's our hollow Dino Miss Rex. Everybody loves the Rex. T Rex. Reject Reborn. Forbidden Apocryphy. Or, uh, not Apocryphy, Apocrypha. <laughs> oh, God. As soon as I said that, guys, he, I hear Chris in the background. And I just hear Chris over there. Just He's he's just laughing. and just I looked at his face and it made me laugh. Sorry, guys. Dino Miss Plessio. And we got the stud for Super Heavy Samurai General Coral. So we got Jade and Coral. Everybody loves the Super Heavy Samurais. Well, I don't know about everybody, but I do. They're they're very um, opportunistic with their monster-only attack and defense, attack using defense type of situation. I use those for a lot of qualifying tournaments as well. Three trolling trolls. Yeah, we got a lot of trolls on the gaming universe now. Defrag Dragon, Called by the Grave, uh, Mami Maki, Mahi Maki, and then a Hollow Rainbow Refraction. Ooh, for them Crystal Beast, and then Trickstar Light Arena, and then World Legacy's Nightmare, Link Streamer. And limit code. All cards that we need in our life. All right, Duelist Alliance. Come on, lucky, lucky. So far, guys, I will say that 2020 is bombing the "Oh, let's make America great again" series that everybody's been hoping for. Perform foul swordfish. Oh, perform foul starting off with a heavy hitter. Cloud Castle. The agent of entropy. Entropy. Uranus. Oh, we got a plat. We got a platinum rare, rare ritual. Sephira. Sephira. Queen of dragons. Oh my god. Keep that up above. That is amazing, guys. Panzer dragon. I don't care. We pulled a. Platinum rare guys, that's that's more dope than than anything else. Uh, Super Heavy Samurai Swordsman Artifact Chakram. Oh, I hit the cam, I hit my earpiece or my uh, microphone. Uh, Feast of the Wild Level Five, and that's six. Alright, so here we go. The sh Shining Victory is what we're doing. Can we pull Shining Victory like we did with the Platinum we got? You don't see many Platinum cards anymore, guys. That is actually pretty cool to pull Platinum Rare out of this set. I mean, seriously. It is Visual Holographic Platinum. Fire King Island. Amorphage Pride. Blackwing Decay of the Ill Wind. And then Blue Eyes Twin Burst Dragon. Oh my overdrive, guys. That is so freaking awesome for an ultra rare. Oh, I'm so happy. Lunar Light Blue Cat. I so happy. World Carrot Weight Champion. Who cares? We got that Blue Eyes. Read Dice Cycle. Ru Okami. Luna Light Wolf. Ooh, pendulum card. Luna Light's got pendulums? Man, Luna Light's got pendulums now, guys. I mean, seriously. Oh, wait. I put that in the.
Alright. Hoping to pull something good from here from Dimensions of Chaos. Can we pull the Tyrant? The Tyrant Red Dragon Archfiend? Red Dragon Archfiend? Because I would love to pull another one of those, guys. That is seriously an awesome card to pull from this set. Okay, come on. Here we go. Shuffle Reborn. Death Spot, 6. Graydell, Split. And then we have uh, Majestic Paladin, the Ascending Draco Slayer. That is a. Are you going to put the Ultra Rares? Ultimate. And then Pendulum Area for our rare. Double D Necro Slime. Fluffle Wings. Performage Plush Fire. Raid Raptors Ultimate Mace. So we got some good pulls from that. Last pack, guys. We have the Se the Secret Forces. These are all. There are gonna be five, four hollows, one ultra rare. If my knowledge is correct about this old set, I haven't opened one of these in a while. But no, they're all Ritual Beast Tamer Win for an ultra rare. Right off the bat, uh, Ritual Beast Bonds. Yeah, one ultra rare, one hollow. Daijin Releaser of Rituals. Then we have Soul Release. And then finally, Daijin Prote Chrono Gas oh, Prognosticator of Rituals. So, not bad of a pull, guys. I will say this is actually worth the money for uh, anyone looking to buy these, to buy these in Walmart or whatever. But, uh, for the most part, guys, I say that we absolutely got a definite win with a Platinum Rare here. Some of our Ultra Rares, like another Twin Burst Dragon. I'm actually happy, guys. So I would buy another one of these. So I do appreciate you guys watching this. If you guys want, if you guys seriously, if not see my last stream... See what you guys think about me doing the $100 challenge for Walmart or the $100 challenge in general for Yu-Gi-Oh. Like see what I could buy for for 100 with $100 challenge from Walmart, just see what I can buy for $100 or see what I can buy card-wise in general for Yu-Gi-Oh or just in general like in Pokemon, Magic, whatever I can find there. And just make a video on it. I'd love to do that guys but we gotta hit a like goal and if you guys can seriously hit that like goal I'll seriously do it and I would love to do it for you guys so make sure if you guys haven't seen that video already go ahead look for the vi go ahead on my channel look for the vi last video before this and and hit that like goal because I keep an eye on that to see if we can hit that like goal I know it probably is has been released before this has probably been released before this but hopefully you guys we can add this and hopefully guys we can get everything edited we can get stuff done we can do the challenge and everything get everything set up because I do I will say take doing editing with Chris since he's so health conscious about editing I mean he's literally in my room with the 411 gear on mass Gloves. He's got a protective suit on. I get, dude. I can't. St I can't stand you. Look at. You look like something out of E.T. E. I swear, man. Guys, I. I wish I could. I. I wish I could turn the camera, but he won't let that. He would. He would edit it out. But I just wanted. I'm just trying to describe to you what I'm. Literally six feet away from. At a. T he's at a. T he's at another table. Literally, with a with a computer and it, watching the uh, ready to edit as soon as this is done. It was the only way I could convince him to do the video, guys. I will say, comment, leave a like for Chris, guys, in this video because yes, he's he's uh, enjoying himself doing this, and I appreciate all he does. 
But we got to leave a like for, for Chris here because he does a lot of hard work for me. Because it takes it took me a while to try to get things edited. It took me a while to edit certain things I wanted, certain things I didn't want. And he made things possible. And uh, be sure if you guys are not already subscribed to hit that subscribe button down below. And right next to it, when you hit subscribe, click that little bell icon to get notified of when I upload my videos. Because whether because you might get to see me in a live stream on game on my gaming channel, or you might get, or if we can get over a thousand subscribers, guys, who knows? We can actually get ourselves more subscribers to get myself to do some more live streams of the hundred dollar challenge. I love to. I would love to do a live stream of the hundred dollar challenge if I could do that, guys. Like seriously, I know they have pop figures at Walmart. Certain things I want to find for the for my little wall here. We need to get. We need to like upgrade. We need to update this wall seriously. Like I need to get the Kaiba. I need to get Dark Magician. I need to get the other Ruby. That's that's uh hard to find. I know they got like Naruto characters. They got WWE characters. They got they got a lot of stuff over there, guys. I I, I want to see if we can find some iconic uh, movie characters that I grew up with. Put them on the wall, even if it's one of those big old boxes like uh, they have for some of them. I don't care, guys. I want to literally put one of these up on the wall, change out some of these old older characters because I do still like these characters, but I need to update this wall because this be crazy. And I say that with the utmost confidence. But again, guys, the monster box for Wal that Walmart sells definitely worth the price of, of buying it. And I would buy another one. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, guys, be sure to always rip it up. Bye, guys. I think. <laughs>